Hey guys, welcome to my WWE predictions for 2016 after the falling of WWE in 2015. And you will want me on WWE Creative after this. This is only Royal Rumble. Only Royal Rumble on this clipboard. This will be a Royal Rumble match and breakdown. Kickoff show. Damian Sandow teams with Darren Young to face the Dudleys in the Ascension, Mark Henry and Jack Swagger. But I heard this was Mark Henry and Jack Swagger's, uh, Mark Henry's match, last Royal Rumble, last road to WrestleMania, so I got Henry. Kalisto and Del Rio, I don't think you got enough sleep on the kickoff. Fans be like, ah, I get another extra, I get another extra couple minutes of sleep, you know what I'm saying? You agree with me, Bobby? You agree with me, Billy? Billy. Screw you, Billy! Yeah, I'm a Jacksepticeye fan. You should know from my late videos. But, uh... I think Kalisto wins this. Finn Balor comes up. This will be after the rematch, because they know they're going to have a rematch for the kickoff show with these two. With the two flippers that are in this match. It's going to be on the kickoff show. Kalisto versus Alberto Dario. But, Finn Balor comes out. And attacks the winner of the match. The winner turns heel. The winner will become the heel. Balor will become the face. His demon character comes out. Let Balor be Balor. That's all I'm going to say. But after Bray Wyatt battles and goes in a war with Brock Lesnar, Wyatt will find himself worthy of a title match in, Vic, in Vince McMahon's eyes that are pretty much delayed probably from all the freaking drugs or something he's on. I don't know. But it'll be Bray Wyatt versus Finn Balor at Extreme Rules. There's one match for Extreme Rules at their craft kickoff show at WrestleMania. But... And then he got something. He got something going for you. Sami Zayn could have won the NXT title. Stayed on there for like a year left. And then you're good. You're good. Book it right. Let Balor and White be themselves after WrestleMania. New Davis view so boring. They're oh so boring. New Day wins it. I ain't even going to talk about that match. The IC title match. Now this is going to get a little in depth. Kevin Owens versus Dean Ambrose. You'll have... Now I'm going to describe what happens with these two in this match. Kevin Owens wins the IC title. Dean Ambrose loses... Gets rid of the Intercontinental Championship. Owens begins his feud in the WrestleMania with Sami Zayn. But the Sami Zayn match, that will be no holds barred. Because their history in NXT. They hate each other. They despise. They have a disdain for each other. Sami Zayn comes up. No, wait, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Sami Zayn stays down in NXT. Stays down in NXT. Daniel Bryan, I meant to say. My bad. That's my bad, guys. That's my bad. My bad. That's my fault. Daniel Bryan comes back. He wants the Intercontinental Championship. 
doesn't feel like he's held on to it enough. Wyatt, why am I saying Wyatt? Jesus, what am I doing right now? Owens and Brian. After a rematch with Ambrose and Owens. At fast at Fastlane, Ambrose will then lose the rematch clause that he has in his contract. Daniel Bryan will attack Kevin Owens, the heel. A little switchy rooey of what happened of what happens in years past. What do you leave Dean Ambrose? Okay. Triple H wins the Royal Rumble, which everybody's predicting. Hopefully. Triple H gets so mad, so mad, so ticked, pissed, whatever mad words you want to think of, and his family. It's like, okay, Vince, Steph, Stephanie, baby, you're not, I love you, but you're not getting things done. Vince, you ain't getting things done with Reigns. I will take care of it myself. Whether it's tonight at the Royal Rumble or next or tomorrow at Raw, I will take care of it. He leaves you questioning. Is it coming out in the Royal Rumble? Or... Boom! They come, or it comes out in Raw. Whichever one. Boom! But, what he comes out to, after a Lex Luthor, Bret Hart thing, they did again. Again, where Lesnar bounces off the ropes, goes for a wicked clothesline, because he's mad about him smiling last year at WrestleMania. Club bounces, and clotheslines the crap out of Reigns. Wyatt goes after Lesnar. Triple H goes after Reigns. You're like, what's going on? What? What? What is happening? But just chaos is ensuing. There will be disdain between Triple H and Roman Reigns and Owens. Fucking hell. Wyatt and Lesnar but they're mad about the Lex Luthor Bret Hart impression but the double count out that they need the fast lane they need to catch the tight Lesnar loses Reigns wins Reigns goes on to rumble or fucking god dang it Wrestlemania and faces Triple H for the title well the lights go out. Wait. Lights go out. Wyatt appears and attacks Lesnar at his weakest point. Attacks Lesnar, weakest point. He's all mad. Braun Strowman, he's, he's first. He attacks him. First man to ever get Braun Strowman off his feet. Yeah. Sorry, it's school today. It's Friday. That's school. But then he sees Luke Harper. So like, oh, this is just F five him. Just F fives him. Rowan's not even a match. Just takes him to Suplex City, bitch. This is the Suplex City, bitch. And then, he got, he thinks it's all done, Wyatt comes, and they absolutely brawl, they have a brawl at Fastlane. Triple H is there sadistically looking on, it's like, then they take away, then the lights go out, and, let, and Lesnar's away, Reigns is just like, what? Triple H comes out of nowhere. 
Sledgehammer in hand. Boom. And then another brawl ensues. Chaos at Fastlane. At the main event. Reigns wins by count up. Because no one wants to see Reigns pin. No one wants to see Reigns pin Lesnar. Lesnar would have not lost by... Pinfall. He still hasn't been panned in years. But the only reason Lesnar and Owens will be fighting is the Lesnar put over Bray Wyatt. And, um... After Bray Wyatt is done... With Brock Lesnar, looks like a dominant force. Finn Balor will at that point be the United States Champion, bringing a little prestige back to the United States Championship. He will come then face to face with Bray Wyatt. It's like, you think you're so big and bad? Face Finn Balor. Oh wait, that's normal WWE booking. My booking... Isn't Les it Lesnar? Finn Balor, boom. Does a little Goldberg thing of your next. Has that championship held high? Has just the championship over his head. Wyatt and Finn Balor for Extreme Rules. Where's that leave? Reigns then, when it's done. Now this is where s stuff gets interesting in 2016. Reigns turns heel. Yes, I said it, goons. Reigns turns heel. Now all the Roman Reigns fans will be like, Oh, it's Justin. Reigns will never turn heel on us. We need him as a face. He's like a boil blankies. Oh, shut up with that. No. 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 He's been shoved down our throats way too much as a face. We need a little bit of, um, what's the word? Substance for Roman Reigns. Turn him heel against his best friend. His only friend of the world. His only best friend in the world. Because Seth is out of the picture right now. Seth's four months out of schedule. What does that leave Seth Rollins with when he comes back? He will come back though. But later, this is at WrestleMania. Ambrose goes for the hug. Reigns ducks it. Looks at the title. Thinking he's a little badass. Turns around. Superman punches Dean Ambrose. After a war with Kevin Owens. A heel turn at WrestleMania. We see a little bit of a grudge against Dean Ambrose. It's like, that should be my spotlight you stole from me. My spotlight was stolen from me. Dean then walks to Roman. Walks out after Roman is a boosting and he's getting booed out of the building. R R yeah. Owen, god dang it, I'm mixing up people. Eh, shut up. It makes not people okay. Ambrose is there. But he's via satellite at a hospital. Because at the beginning of Raw, you see Boom! Him getting crashed through a car. His head is all screwed up. He's bloody, he's battered, he's all done and screwed up. But that was at the beginning of the night. They stitched him up. What happens next? You'll find out next.